Hi, welcome to John's Metal Tetting Adventures. Here we are again, searching for history on some pasture fields. Let's see what we're going to find today. I know, a penny of some kind. Oh! <coughs> another lighter. Sounds like that. And it's another, that's a Ronson, that. Unpatterned. Semi patterned. I think you're looking at 18th to 19th century pottery here. Yeah, nicely uh, pattern on there. Look, that's probably Victorian. It's like a bridge, actually, a bridge. God, blimey. Uh, that's a bit of an old one, but it is a mobile phone. Be nice to get one that's in fully working order, but not just yet. Look at that. Aha! There we go. Yeah. Is it copper that? Yes. Yeah. There you go. Oh, love talking. Love talking, eh? Yeah. Yeah, George III, love talking. Very good. Looking for silver, but we're on to, on to copper at the moment. Look at that. I've got a cracking pen that can't see in the middle of it. Oh, but that's definitely, definitely silver. Check that out. Yeah, it could be a watch, but look at that. That's fantastic design. Definitely silver that. Check that out. Superb. And another bit of silver. Absolutely excellent. Not quite sure. I think it's a pendant. Not sure what's in the middle. Maybe a clock. I'm not really sure. But it's definitely, definitely silver. Look at all the work there. I'll clean it up and show you properly. But it looks good. Just, just unclean. What a lovely piece of uh, jewellery. Fantastic. Absolutely great. Got to find out what the year is. We'll soon, so we'll soon uh, see what it is later on. Might be Hallmark more than likely. Brilliant. I'm happy again. <laughs> oh, nice badge. I'm not quite sure how old it is, but look at that. Interesting. Clean it up and show you later. Yeah. <laughs> That's enamelled. Come in number eight, your time's up. Pity ain't silver. But number eight, definitely, your time's up, uh, looking for the door. Fifteen, in that little bit of clump of muck. Shall we see what it is? Ready? In that bit. In that bit. Breaking up is this? Well, oh, it's a coin. Definitely a coin. Aha! Now then, that's a farthing. They're not. It's quite rare to find these. But who is it though? Farthing of who? Oh, Queen Victoria farthing. Don't get many of them, you know. Queen Victoria belt buckle. Clean that up and show you later. Not sure. Probably not 20th century, but there is some design on it, and that was uh, 23. I think 
we've got a toy plane here like shell type design on it there and i think that's a, a door handle <laughs> that's what that is look a third half fella yeah. another half sinus or uh, bridle belt i think for a horse what else Georgia fist, half a crown. <laughs> oh, oh, I don't believe it. Yo, man alive. Crown George the third. Oh, I'm stepping his wires now. Oh, -ho. hey, cracking. Silver. Jolly good. That's two, that's uh, some silver tied to the connection. Check it out later. That beat a bit of silver, 1942, sixpence of uh, George the uh, Sixth. Hey, yes, brilliant. Yeah, silver's fine for me. But, uh, oh, we've got a piece of muck out here, look. It's in here somewhere. Okay, I'll show you later, but that's a thimble. Another silver, George the Sixth, half a crown. <laughs> I'm sniffing his wires! <laughs> Brilliant, pal, absolutely superb. Another trading seal. You can see the lettering on that one. Yeah, 17, 18th century, you should imagine. Blood trading seal. Very good. The letter T on the, on the on that side. Clean it up, show you later. That is one big bullet. I think that's 50 cal, maybe. Quite big. I'm not sure, but it's a big uh, lead bullet. Not sure if it's the first of all on that. 